rather than in mental health services directly, such as social care and, and third sector uh, organisations. So C1PI is a really good way to, to build a common approach to working with these um, types of problems because they occur across so many different settings. Um, there's still a mental health problem. Um, and they're, co they're usually comorbid, or often frequently comorbid, with other disorders such as ADHD, uh, border developmental problems, learning difficulties, anxiety, uh, and older kids, mood <coughs> problems as well. They actually co-occur with other mental health issues. So although they are primarily a behavioural issue, they're also often a way in which children with other underlying mental health problems come to the attention of, of services. Um, they affect all areas of the child's life. Um, quite pervasive, uh, and for many children, particularly those who start early, the early, early onset kids, um, they may be lifelong. And where that happens, the cost to society is huge. So the interventions we have, these excellent evidence-based interventions we have for, for on that disorders, are also very cost-effective. We can make a real difference to longer-term costs. But that's only the case if children and families to get access to highly skilled um, practitioners. Um, and that's what we hope to do with the CYPI Act program, um, train up highly skilled practitioners. And I think one of the ways in which we differ, um, the parenting approach differs, say, compared to other HEIs, and also perhaps to how parenting has been trained in the past, is that parenting interventions are often associated with particular brands. If there's a group-based program such as Incredible Years or Triple P, which are very efficient ways to uh, disseminate uh, and deliver evidence-based treatment. Um, and they're great. But sometimes when that happens, people lose track of the underlying theory, the social learning theory that lies behind all these programs and all these evidence-based uh, effectiveness approaches. So we, we really focus on social learning theory right the way through. So we give you training in a group-based program, it's incredible years, the um, early and, and older um, versions of the incredible years program. Um, but we do so alongside really focusing on social learning theory principles and ideas so that you're able to formulate more complex cases. And that's because we also want to um, teach you uh, an individualised uh, parenting program, uh, a way of working with families, with the child the parents in the room, so one, one parent, one child, and you're working live with them using social learning theory principles based upon a formulation that you've derived. So, you know, we use the group-based program, but also this much more personalised, individualised parenting approach. It's all based on the same common principles of social learning theory. Um, those, that, that second approach is often forgotten about in, in, the, in services delivering space programmes for, for conduct disorder. Um, we have nice guidelines to what to do about conduct problems, and also relevant to, the, uh, to this are the nice guidance for ADHD, where um, this is the first line intervention for the kids with ADHD under six in our parenting programs, such as you'll be learning here. Um, we know that program fidelity, for example, to the Incredible Years program, is, is essential, as is practitioner skill. Um, One of the things, again, that's, that's sometimes been lost in the implementation of the NICE guidance is the idea of group-based programs and individual programs. And, you know, we, we stress these equally in this, this approach. We've done the group-based program for several years, we've done this individual uh, program, which used to be called the parent-child game. Um, some of you may have heard of the parent-child game for working with parenting. Uh, if you change the name of it now to stop confusion with um, other programs. So if you were to do this, uh, this course, um, we would focus on uh, training on assessment and formulation of severe conduct problems alongside uh, associated comorbid disorders such as ADHD and other problems. Also how to disentangle or think about um, uh, attachment issues for example which often get inflated and confused with, with um, uh, behaviour problems. And mainly we'll be focusing on these social learning theory approaches as I say, we'll be doing the Incredible Years uh, parent program. Uh, it's five-day training for that, three days and two days. And we'll also offer a, a five-day training in an evidence-based individual parenting intervention, which is now called PIT, Personalised Individual Parent Training. Um, 
and this is the one that you may not have come across before. It's, as I say, it's where you're working in the room. Ideally, you can do it with an earpiece and you can coach the parent from another room. Typically, most settings don't have that. It's perfectly um, possible to do it live, sitting behind the parent, whispering in their ear, so you're giving them live guidance and coaching on uh, how they parent their child. And you see the parenting relationship evolve and change in front of you and you can respond to what's going on live in the room. It's a very effective way of delivering that an intervention live. You see it change and, and morph in front of you. It's actually a good lot of fun. It's my favourite way of working. Um, and the, the nice guidance for this is that we should be reserving individual parent training for the more complex cases or cases where there are severe issues around parental engagement. Because it, it is a bit more expensive to deliver. It's one therapist. Uh, one child, um, but it is also very effective. And the effect sizes for individual approaches are about 40 percent bigger um, than they are with the group-based program, and that's true for a sort of harder to reach uh, uh, population as well. Populations for whom uh, group-based programs have found to be slightly less effective. It's a really, really effective way of working, but it is slightly more expensive. So one of the other things you need to be able to do will help you think about doing on the course is knowing and making that judgment for when families would be best suited to an individual approach compared to a, a group based approach. Um, so by the end of the course we want to be confident in social learning theory constructs, in constructs that aren't tied to a particular brand, that um, aren't tied to a particular programme, but which inform all these uh, programmes that you may have come across. So if some of you have done parenting before, you may have been trained on Incredible Years or Triple P or another Strengthening Families, Strengthening Communities, Empowering Parents and Empowering Communities, and many different types of uh, group-based parenting programs out there. But all underpinned by social learning theory. We want you to make sure that you, you're able to um, use social learning theory to formulate these cases across uh, modes of intervention. So as I say, to know when group versus individual treatments are indicated, um, but also to assess child and family needs and the associated conditions, to think about the other comorbidities in the formulation. And that's particularly helpful for thinking about the individual cases, a child with ADHD, a child with learning disability, a parent with mental health issues perhaps, a child with learning disability perhaps, ways in which you need to modify the delivery of, of, of the, the intervention to, to match the complexity of the, the family that you're working with. And that's the key thing for us, I think, personalising treatments based on the formulation of these complex cases. We don't want to be training people to be technicians delivering only one type of, uh, of approach, but to have that ability to reflect on different types of cases, to formulate them, and to, to personalise treatments and then use our outcome monitoring to make sure that these modifications and personalisation uh, of, of the programme are working effectively. The um, teaching takes place with some structured lectures and workshops to cover the theoretical aspects, a uh, fair bit in social learning theory, um, but also issues around engagement, parental attributions, um, sort of adjuncts, other, other things you can do alongside parenting interventions such as so social confidence uh, um, interventions, also working with special populations um, such as looked after children or adopted children. Um, and we have this five-day incredible years teaching um, for which you get a, the uh, accreditation certificate from incredible years institution. Um, we also this five-day personalised individual parenting uh, training it takes place on a three-day block and then a later on on a two-day block. Very, very skills-based. Doing the individual work is very much about having a repertoire of ways to speak to a parent in front of you. Um, and that goes alongside two forms of practice tutoring. Again, in parenting, we're a little bit different in that we, we, we do two lots of practice tutoring. One lot is for the, um, the group-based DIY supervision, and there's a second one that runs alongside it, which is uh, in smaller groups, doing the individual, personalised individual parent training uh, um, treatments. Course assessment, um, it's quite straightforward. It's uh, the whole session videotapes, there's two of those one for uh, a group session and one for an individual PIP session. The group session is probably like two hours or so long. The PIP one's got about 45 minutes. 
for now, depending on the way in which you run that session, how many parents are involved, one or two carers. So you have a whole session of videotape and two case reports for uh, individual cases. You're supposed to see six cases um, overall over the course of the year. And so you use two of those uh, to write up as a case report for individual work and there's one group uh, report as well. So they come for the same amount, 5,000 words for the individual and the, the, the group approach. And that's my very brief overview. Are there any questions?